Dana, hi, Jim Delapine here. I want to give you some video feedback here. I did note that you put the file in there yesterday, so of course, no late penalties. But let me comment on this. First of all, your background image is poor quality. It's a great image, great idea, but if you zoom in, look at the quality difference. So if you can get a better quality image with this kind of thing, it would be great. I'm sure they sell equalizer background files, so I'm um, not sell, but you can get it online. All right, so so keep that in mind. But once you have this, I want to show you what's possible here. So first of all, you want to I want to bring down this image here because this text is just lost down here. Okay, this is important. This is important to have the name. It's just like you, it's squeezed in there, you know. So I'm going to bring this layer down a little bit. All right, and actually. I am going to bring it down a little bit, but I think the whole character needs to be scaled down a little bit. So I would select all these layers by shift clicking to select all of these, with the exception of the text layers. Hit Control T, and then go to any corner, click and start dragging in, and then hold down Shift and Alt or Option just to zoom it in a little bit. Okay? Then I'm letting go with my mouse first, and then the Shift and Alt, or Shift and Option key. Okay. Then I'm going to hit Enter to apply the transformation. Then I'll go to the background layer and move that down slightly. Okay. I want room for the text up at the top. And then I'm going to put a selection around this upper area here. And I'm going to hit, uh, you can either do Edit Fill or hit Shift F. Five. Um, I hit the wrong one. Okay, Shift F5, and by default you should see Content Aware. I'm just going to hit OK. Uh, oops, wait a second. Uh, I, I, I forgot to. Uh, I'm going to undo this once this completes because uh, the background is selected, not this upper area, because I did undo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wait. Okay, so as I tried to do before, I'm going to select this upper area here, hit Shift F5, and then hit Content Aware, hit OK, and that will fill in that area there with the same color. And then you'd have an area up above where the text could go. And of course, you'd want to scale that up and scale it up, even exaggerate it if you want. Okay, I'm not crazy about that text. You may want to experiment with fonts. But all right, so that's, that's one option there. Now also, if you had a reflective floor, this would be the case, but I don't know what image you're going to find. So I'm going to select the bottom area here, all right? And I'm going to go to Edit, Transform. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I didn't have the layer active. Okay. So Edit, Transform, Perspective. And then I'm going to click on any lower corner and pull that out. And there you go. Okay, so you get more of a feeling that he's on a stage kind of thing, you know. All right, so um, that's what I wanted to say. Also, make note that you were supposed to have adjustment layers that were clipping masks and saved and renamed selections. I don't see any in here. I'll send you instructions on how to do that again. And I do see... A, uh, a levels adjustment uh, adjustment layer here, but it's not clipped. Notice that this affects all of the underlying layers. So to clip it, all you need to do is hold down the Alt or Option key in between these layers. You'll see that funky little icon, and then when you once you click, bam, it affects only that uh, the headphones layer. Okay. Um, so the headphones are kind of dark, so they kind of get lost because of this background. So you may want to go in there and into levels and adjust that. So notice notice the difference now? Uh, I'm exaggerating here, but you can bring in the highlights of the headphones here so they'll jump out more, okay? So this is without the adjustment layer, this is with, all right? It may have exaggerated a little bit, but you get the idea, all right? You can go into each layer. See, that's the problem with having these kind of wire elements because with a dark background, this kind of gets lost, so you may want to consider that. So the right arm here, I'll select that and create an adjustment layer for levels for that. Immediately, 
uh, right arm, immediately clip it by alt or option clicking, and then, let me drag this to the side, I can bring the highlights into that image, and it will start to show, it's, see it's a little bit too much, see it's the wrong background to show these details, so you may want to find a background that, that will, you know, help Roy be seen quite easily, alright? I hope that helped. All right, take care. Bye.